Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel with another reaction video. Today I'm gonna react to Muslim converts telling what impressed them the most about our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to know what they what they impressed the most about our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So let's check it out. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like and a comment if you love to. So bismillah. What impressed you the most about our Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam? <laughs> Everything. He's incredible. We have to be as humanity. Oh, that's a that's a deep, deep, deep question. Everything is the answer. He's messy. I just made me cry. Everything. I love him. I just. He's just the best of mankind. I am. Um... It would be unfair and a disservice to him to choose one thing. Oh gosh, there's so many things. If I would put it to one thing, it would be his character, but there's so many different aspects of his character that are amazing. There's so many different points in your life that you can reflect on a different part of his character. For example, when I became a mom and I knew nothing about parenting, I read the book, Children Around the Prophet, and I learned how the Prophet, peace be upon him, would deal with children. The mercy, the patience, the time that he spent, the understanding of their age and their ability to comprehend what you're telling them and how you tell them. It was so beautiful. He wasn't a yeller, he wasn't a hitter. He spoke on a level, he got down on a level with children. There's so many amazing things in his personality personality, in his character, in the way that he ruled, in the mercy that he had, in the love that he had as a husband, as a leader, you know, as a friend, subhanAllah. It's just, the, how can you name one thing? It's impossible. This, this is an work. amazing question. When we look at the reality of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 1400 years ago he came, one man in the desert, received revelation from Allah, as well as the highest status a human being can be given, which is a prophet, and the impact that he had on the world, even to this day, and his followers who follow his sunnah, follow his way, or we try to follow his way. The love that we have, look, we're here today. We're, we're spending our wealth and our time on the deen. We truly have Iman in this. And, and, and if you just imagine all the followers, of Islam, not just the ones that are alive today, but for the past 1400 years, preserving the sunnah, preserving the statements and the actions of this man, and obeying the, the, the messenger of Allah, obeying Allah, you know, and the, the, the impact that he's had on this world, that a third of the world currently follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, or, you know, they're Muslim. You know, this is just the introduction. Seriously, when people reflect on this man and, and what he did, and more importantly, the message that he was given, the solutions that the Qur'an has for humanity. You, you, you bring the Sharia, the, the, the law of, and the guidance from Allah, and you compare it to any other religion or any other, any other philosophy, any other way of life. Islam beats the, any other religion or way of life in its wisdom. And it's also simple to understand. His message, especially the time he was coming back from Ta'if, trying to call for the people of Ta Ta'if, but being thrown the you know, stones and against act. Then when he was offered by the angel of the mountain to you know, crush them, what he said, SubhanAllah, please don't. Perhaps there might be generations after them, those who would believe in one God, SubhanAllah. He's incredible. Um, I don't think I could find a better word for him. And I think everybody on this planet can learn a lot from him and they could definitely put his life story into their own life and be a lot more loving, a lot more giving and a lot more accepting. It would have to be his humanity. You know, the humanity of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the example and it is the example that we all aspire to be. He was so humble and kind to everyone. Um, I've never seen harsh words that he's given, even when he was getting on to someone, if he, if he was telling them something that they did wrong, it was still in a way that they wanted to hear it. They, they wanted to hear it. It was never, you know, like we get on to our children. It was, it was delivered in a way that people wanted to receive. And that's the way that I like to make dawah. When I, when I make my dawah and I tell people about Islam, is I try to think about how would the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approach this person? 
this is our belief. It's the belief of submission and peace to one God. You know, it's, it's the to strive and to be more like Him is what we're all wanting to be. Oh, that's a, that's a deep, deep, deep question. Everything is the answer, everything. Every time I read something or learn something new about the Rasulullah Wasallam, I love him more. But there's one particular thing that this when I learned this thing, I just, I was crying, subhanAllah. This is me. And this is actually that there was a, there's a beautiful incident when the Rasulullah Wasallam is growing weak. And so it's close to the end. And he's been uh, walking with two of the companions. And he says, I miss my brothers. I miss my brothers. And his companions said, we are so the Lord, we're, we're here with you. Yeah. He said, no. He said, you are my companions. He yeah. said, my brothers the are the ones, ones who will believe, believe in me. In me. But I love never met more prophets on Mount Okay, for me, when he was trying to spread Islam to the world, there was no Muslim, right? He was the only Muslim who, who get the message and who want to spread the Islam, the message of Islam. I feel a little bit similar because I'm, I'm in Korea and no one is Muslim. I'm the only Muslim and I felt that feeling. It's like how to start with them, like how to deal, how to deal with that. But our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, didn't give up. I, I, I think it's impossible thing, but he did. He spread Islam to the world. And now he started with in, in, in the Mecca, Medina. But now, see, like far from place, like in Indonesia, Malaysia, in the like the west of Africa, everyone believes in Islam. And in, even in South Korea, I believe in Islam. I think this is the amazing thing. And the Islam is the most fastest grow, growing up religion in the world. So I'm really impressed that, that his personality and his action, his everything. But I really impressed that he did spread Islam when the nobody believes Islam. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like 10 different things came to my, my mind at the same sister. time. But I think for me, it's about the kindness. And I always think of this one story that always, always comes to my head. And there's the story of the old lady who was carrying stuff. I think you probably know the story that I'm going to tell. And the Prophet وسلم, he helped her carry this stuff. And the entire journey, she was complaining about him. She didn't know who he was, وسلم. She was complaining, there's this guy, he calls himself a prophet, he does this, he's awful, he does all these bad things. For ages, he was carrying her stuff for her. Not a single word did he say to her, saying, that's me you're talking about. Don't say those things about me. He didn't defend himself once. He let her ran and ran and ran. And then as he got to her house, he gave her the stuff. Thank you, she said to him. And she, she was like, so who are you? And he was like, I'm the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she became Muslim in that moment. Because the entire journey, she was complaining about him and he didn't say one thing against her. And I think for me, that's such an important lesson because we get so touchy nowadays, right? If anyone says anything about us. Imagine like someone says something mean about you, you're like, hey, don't say that about me. And like the amount, like he was so humble. He was of such high importance. He was so humble. And thinking about those niceties, the kindness, the charity, teaching others to give to charity, all those things were what impressed me the most, especially when I was non-Muslim learning about him for the first time. Oh, subhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Like, I can, I cannot choose one thing. It's everything about the Prophet, it's uh, special. As I, I said many times, I really love that, uh, that story when, like, when he cried for us, you know? And um, it made me all the time more in love with him, or our beloved Prophet وسلم. All the time when I, as, as she also said, every time when I read, when I hear, when I just hear talking about our Prophet وسلم, it's just so magical and it made me apply things that he did, that he said, that he think, how he did the stuff and everything. I tried always to apply in my life. For example, as I also became a mother, I didn't know how really to be as a parent also. You know, and I took so many examples of our prophet. Also, my husband um, was telling me, also explaining to me stuff about our prophet وسلم, how he dealt, and I was searching about this also. And all the time when I search more, it's more easier for me to live my life in any aspects, in every single situation. For example, as you guys know, I have been telling you a little bit 
that my little newborn after birth had some health problems so to go through these things it was really a hard situation but what it helped me and my husband was that we had Allah and that we have the way of our prophet with dealing with stuff like he had um, he had also like his children that died and everything so all these things and I really love a story of our Prophet وسلم, with um, I think it's with Hussein I think it's that he could not talk really right and he was taking years to say something right so when he was trying to explain things to tell a story or something our Prophet was just sitting there and he was listening and until he finished and this take was taking so long but you know as he he gave that importance to the children that today we don't see that anywhere you know and it's really important to give that 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 time to the children and of course i do my youtube videos i i i do my little things also about my brand and everything i take time for this but like for example when they are sleeping <laughs> okay because i'm a full-time mom right so it's a full-time job so when they are sleeping then I can do this stuff or when my husband is there then I can do this stuff sometimes I don't post or something in YouTube because I have I have them and they don't sleep the same time so it's a little bit complicated I try my best but my my job is really full-time mom job and to be the best mom for me it's really important and the best wife so what I can do is to see how our Prophet وسلم, was with children, was with, the, for example, how he was with Fatima, right? This was so amazing. I, I thought, like, if you didn't see my video, I'd leave the link here above because I was so impressed how he was with his daughter. It was so beautiful, so, so beautiful. And it's so beautiful with uh, all the other all the other stories that we know about our Prophet this is really impressed me so much how he was as a human that we can take any example of him and put it in our lives this is the best and this is what it means to be also a prophet to come and to show us what is the right way and our Prophet is the best of humankind and we have to take his example for everything so He's actually the walking Quran, as we say, right? So, subhanAllah. May Allah bless all these reverts and every one of you and us and my family and all our ummah. And this is beautiful. We just have to love our Prophet Sallallahu He is really special, subhanAllah. And inshallah, we meet him in Jannah, inshallah. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like and a comment if you would love to. So see you in the next video, inshallah. Ma'asalama.